Hello, I would like to present the air trap control function to you. Which patients will benefit from this function? Air trap control was specially developed to treat COPD patients whose symptoms include both bronchial obstruction and instability in the small airways. What effects do these have on the patient's breathing? When exhalation is forced, the airways collapse and the remaining air becomes caught in the alveoli. It cannot be fully exhaled. What is known as air trapping occurs, which develops into dynamic hyperinflation. Intrinsic PEEP builds up. Breathing shifts to the higher regions of the airways in which compliance is reduced and the patient's breathing effort greatly increases. Gas exchange deteriorates. How does air trap control work? Air trap control makes it possible to monitor expiration with regard to the likelihood of air trapping occurring and resulting in the development of intrinsic PEEP and then allows the treatment to be adapted to the patient's needs. During expiration, the airflow is measured continuously and the patient's optimum respiratory rate determined from the information. The inspiration phase remains the same, whereas the expiration phase is adjusted by slowing down the respiratory rate. Intrinsic PEEP is decreased. To prevent the patient receiving an inadequate supply, air trap control has a safety limit which cannot be exceeded. This limit corresponds to an expiration phase prolonged by a maximum of 50% or 0.8 seconds. Here again are the advantages of air trap control. Air trap control reduces intrinsic PEEP and therefore dynamic hyperinflation. The patient's breathing effort decreases and gas exchange improves. For further information, please visit Weinmann.de.